A speed camera will be installed this week at a deadly Wombai intersection where four people lost their lives. Traffic enforcement has been welcomed by road safety campaigners who have spent years fighting for change. Their picture hangs around his neck. It's as close as Michael Hornby can get to his daughters, Grace and Jessica. The five-year-old twins were killed in a crash along with their grandmother on Nambour Connection Road in 2009. Mr Hornby still can't drive past that intersection. It brings back that night. Yeah, it's something that you don't want anybody to go through. He hopes there'll be no more lives lost at the busy thoroughfare after a speed camera is installed. It wouldn't have been enough to save the Hornby twins. The driver who crashed into their car was high on prescription drugs. But the government says permanent traffic enforcement will save lives. The fixed speed cameras have shown that where they're installed they do change motorist behaviour. That's what we're hoping will occur here too. But it's taken three years, a coronial inquiry and community outrage for action to finally be taken. It's been an exhausting battle for Mr Hornby. If you speed, you, you, the chances of you having a fatal crash are bigger. So obviously that doesn't worry people. So maybe the back pocket might worry people. The speed camera will be installed on Wednesday. There will also be signs warning motorists that it's there. The minister says this isn't about revenue raising. We're still getting people doing 110 through, the, through this intersection. It's a 70 kilometre speed zone. Some community members want traffic lights installed. Main Roads hasn't ruled that out. Engineers will reassess six months from now using data collected from the camera. Laura Dimmick, 7 News.